Hi everyone, Angie Smith here. Thank you for watching. Uh, welcome back. Uh, so I have my weekly melting basket. Uh, this is kind of my third week into this and I'm actually really loving how my melting is going right now. Um, so the candle I chose uh, for this next week is Island of Margarita Bath and Body Works. This is a good summer set. I've always loved this candle. Uh, set notes on this are sweet mandarin, island mango, and sea salt. Um, so if you're just tuning in, uh, what I did recently was purchased candle crocks. I have two. I have one in my bathroom. It's going wonderful in there. And also one in my open concept, which just kind of adds um, extra fragrance uh, as that's a larger room area to scent. Um, and I love candles, but because of the wick and the flame, um, they'd, I only burn them every so often, like when I'm going to be in the open area for a long period of time, so maybe on the weekend, uh, but I just found, found I wasn't getting through my candles very well. So I opted um, for a crock, which I absolutely love. And um, how it works, it's, it's kind of like just a bigger warmer you can leave it on 24 7 if you want just like a warmer um, and the bath and body works candles fit perfectly down inside that crock and it will melt it from the bottom up so it does take a little bit of time if you turn it off and on to re-warm that uh, and i've been keeping these candles in a full week like seven days i do turn them off and on um, overnight and um, turn them back on again in the morning. Uh, so fragrance all week long. So I've been going with a theme in my um, open area uh, to kind of fit the candle and just kind of bring all of those scents together. So Island Margarita is my choice this week. And then let's just start in with what I've pulled. So I pulled out peach and grapefruit mimosa love the scent i do find um if i start out with lighter scents in the beginning with the island margarita like with that island margarita and then towards the end of the week so like over the weekend do the stronger scents it's better because um, sometimes the candle can out like throw some of the scents that you have in so it's better to kind of <clears throat> excuse me um go through your scents and kind of marry them up together so one's not overpowering the other so this is something i'd probably do towards the end of the week um, because this is so strong uh peach and grapefruit mimosa this was a easter i think it was easter from sensi this year um it is you get grapefruit you get peach it's got a little bit of sparkle there. Perfect with Island Margarita. All right, I pulled out Fizzy Lifting Drink. Uh, this was from the Willy Wonka collection. I do really like this um, scent. It is like a fizzy strawberry soda, and I just thought that would be very good with that Island Margarita theme. Desert Tropics. Uh, this was a former scent of the month. It's one that I hope returns one day um, because I don't have it in my club and um, didn't realize how much I loved it till much later. It's very strong, tropical, fruity, perfect with Island Margarita. Shamrock Splash. This is just a good, like, um, it's hard to describe this one. It's definitely like fruity fresh. I know it's got some like orange and lime, but it's all like fruity, sweet, fruity, good, strong performer. Now I will probably, sometimes I'll do the scents as is. Sometimes I get like alternate warmers and then um, sometimes I'll mix them up just what I'm in the mood for that day. It's just good to have them in my basket to pull out and decide what I want to do for the week. 
And then on my warm review, you'll see, and I'll explain what I've done. If I've mixed them, if I've warmed them, like as is. Uh, so I did pull this. I did not write down where I got the mix from, but it's key lime. I think this is key lime and grapefruit from the summer collection. And then um, cucumber lime. So I do want to do this mix this week. Um, key lime and grapefruit is currently available. It does give you that lime note. And the grapefruit's not coming through as well, but it is a good, decent performer. And then the cucumber lime is just like fresh cucumbers, fresh lime. It's a super strong scent. I also pulled Cocoa Lime and Rainbow Sherbet. I love doing these two together. Both of these are currently available in the summer catalog. Cocoa Lime is just like a sweet coconut lime, sugary lime. And then Rainbow Sherbet, just as it is, it's almost like a Rainbow Sherbet punch. And they're so good mixed one to one together. I pulled out a lot. I don't know that I'm going to get through all of these, but I at least wanted to try to tackle some of these scents. Um, so mango margarita. With this was from the Sensepirations last year with mango, mango, is that go, 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 go mango. And this is just like the, almost like a margarita lime, go, go, you know, mango margarita lime kind of set. Um, so I just had two bars left. I wanted to go ahead and get those used up. And because of the orange that's in the Island Margarita, I pulled out my um, Willy Wonka Everlasting Gobstopper scents, which are kind of like the, like an orange candy, like an orange Gobstopper candy. But I thought um, this would be good to have the orange mixed in with the Island Margarita. Uh, one of my beloved scents from the Harry Potter Honeydukes collection is Fizzing Wisbees. And because it does have kind of like a fizzy note, I thought this would be really good to go with the margarita. All right, I pulled one lemon lime fizz um, just to do maybe as a mixer or an alternating warmer. I may actually end up pulling another bar depending on how I want to use that. Uh, Jumpin' Jelly Bean. Absolutely love this scent, but if you see it's um, got a 22, 2022 date. And I've been trying to use up um, all of my wax from 2022 this summer. And that's more like a pear jelly bean. And so I'm almost thinking that pear... Um, mixed in with the like the mango island mango sea salt that's going to be a good mixture and then pineapple dragon fruit this was from last year's summer collection did not return it's like a pineapple it's kind of got some of that sparkling yellow in it I'm going to be super island fruity this week all right, now some scents that I pulled. Oh, I did forget about this one. I did go ahead and pull out my sea salt and avocado. This was a brick and a mixture of some bars. Um, it's gotten really juicy. I want to go ahead and use all of this up if I can this week. So I'm probably going to be using more than what I would normally use in a warmer just to use it up. It's just gotten juicy. It's time for a new brick. The bricks are available in Scentsy Club. And um, definitely need to get that. I'm sure that's two to three years old. And then I do like to mix the sea salt and avocado with the prickly pear and agave. I think this was my last bar. This was such a good performer too. And um, this always makes me think of the island margarita scent. All right, um, I did pull out some scents um, that are not quite um, 
with the island margarita but i just wanted to use these up in either my bathroom or entryway and that would be jade and jasmine and that is a 2022 scent as well uh, dazzle darling i know is either 21 or 22 this may be my last bar this was before they switched over to the new scent category clamshells I had four cubes left of Sunshine Mango. I did think this would fit the theme. I have one bar left of Driftwood and Jasmine. I loved this on Cold Sniff. It's just not the best performer. Pima Cotton. This is definitely going to be in the bathroom. All right. Uh, these two, I think, are definitely going to be bathroom scents. This is from Rose Girls. Rain in the Back Roads and Make It Rain. That was um, from a, I think, a, is it called? Kahula. That she does a big sampler box. And then, um, just a note on that. It's really good to kind of get that once because you'll get all these different types of scents. And they're usually, like, smaller quantities. That's why it's a sampler. Um, you get like these four to six cut up melters and um, it's just good to be able to test different waxes if you're trying to get into her wax and then just see what you like. So that way, you know, for future purchases, which ones you want to go with. Uh, and then Pharmacist Daughter, this Beauty in Plastic. This is another one. I don't love this on Cold Sniff. So I thought I could probably throw this in the bathroom and it would do well. It's lemonade, pearberry, and cuppy cake. And then um, I wanted to go ahead and start using up this pool party from Rose Girls, which is blue Hawaiian raspberry sauce and fluffy marshmallows. I thought this would kind of go with that tropical theme of the island margarita. So that's um, everything I've pulled for my melting basket. Let me know um, what you're warming this week. If you have any um, mix suggestions. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you on my next one. Thanks, guys.